Hello YouTube. So this is my 1984 uh, Kiro Sun 85, uh, 185, whatever. What's the model? I don't remember. Uh, Kiro Sun 80, Omni 85. You probably can't see that with this light on my phone. It's a kerosene heater. I'm in Canada, and our winter grade diesel is 85% kerosene. So I use winter grade diesel in it. It runs uh, a little darker, it makes a little more char in it, and you have to put it in the lowest setting, but it burns uh, about the same, and it's uh, about an eighth of the price. It's about $1.10 a liter for diesel now. So, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. So it has about a 10 liter tank. Um, very small cap, I need a funnel to fill it up. I mean, it's smaller than a water bottle cap to fill that in. And a fuel gauge that pops out, which I need to fix because the uh, float was stuck. Yeah. There we go. Nice and tight. Uh, the way this thing works, you open the vent, shut it off, pop the vent back. There was, when it pushed down, an electric start right there, but the coil and it's fried, so never worked. I bought it used for 20 bucks. Back and forth a little. Turn up the knob. All the way. Put the wick all the way up high. So it's easy to light with a lighter. And turn the knob in all the way. You get that centered. And let's see if I can do this. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was hard to do with the camera. And the windows on this thing are broken. Has a few problems, but we go back and forth a little. Once the flame starts building up, slowly turn it down. Down, down, down. Turn it all the way to almost off because it's wearing a diesel, not kerosene. Yeah, pick it. Let it heat up. Yeah, it's a little loose, but I'm not going to get it exactly right on this one, but whatever. Unless I get it somewhere right. Let it heat up. There's the door. Let me turn it up a little more. Yeah, it's crooked, but it's old. Some parts in there are bent. It's nice and hot. Good thing about this, top of this heater, there's a stove. It gets hot up here. Put a kettle or every cooking on it, kind of like a wood stove. It has a nice handle to carry. It doesn't get too hot. It has this piece here. Carry it around, bring it ice fishing, put it in a shop. Warms up pretty nice. And uh, yeah, you can't really see and feel the heat. So I'm just gonna shut this video off. Basically, you, uh, as I said, you push the button in here, it's a spring. And it's out. And push the lever back all the way, make sure it's there. And uh, yeah, if you want me to make any more videos, just tell me.